Hey everybody and welcome to Let's Look at Probably Archery. Might sound like a weird title, like, eh, what are you gonna do today? Eh, probably archery, I guess. But it's actually pretty accurate, because what this is, is kind of like Quop or GURP, or Surgeon Simulator 2013, meets the fine, gentlemanly and gentle, gentle lady-like art of archery. So this is uh, an absurd physics-based game where basically you're manipulating your hands, in this case not to perform heart surgery or, you know, r manipulating your quads and hamstrings to run a 100 meter dash, or dash used liberally obviously, uh, but instead you are using them to fire a bow and arrow. So uh, I should point out right off the bat that this is currently not available as far as I know, but it is uh, the subject of a green light campaign. So if you're interested in voting for this on green light, you should go into the video description below and uh, click on the link and vote for it on Steam Greenlight, which obviously is free. In any case, so, music of course, uh, appropriate level of grandeur. We have our left hand here, which controls the bow, and we can control either the elbow or the shoulder on this one. So I'm gonna try to hit one of these targets. In full disclosure, I've played this for about half an hour. I have hit one target in my entire life so far, but what's, you know, the, the appeal of this game is not necessarily succeeding, it's struggling hard, and then eventually getting, like, eking out a small victory and being like, ah, eh, good enough. Also, there are a bevy of absurd game modes in here, so, um, I'm gonna put the bow like this, maybe I'll move the elbow ever so, s oh, no, maybe I'll just move it like that to get it relatively, you know, parallel, or perpendicular to the ground, then we'll take our other hand and we'll take this bow, or sorry, this arrow, only two things to get mixed up, and I mixed them up. And then we'll try to, like, notch this, or apparently knock. I, I just goes to show you how much I know about um, archery. And we're going to try to get it to kind of, like, slot in properly. As you can see right now, it's kind of, like, all askew. And I mean, we can fire a, a bow and arrow like that if we just uh, pull this back, I think, like that. And then maybe we'll um, pull our arm down here. Maybe we'll have a shot at it. Okay, that did not go where I expected it to go. But really, the challenge here is in the preparation. You know, it's like Surgeon Simulator 2013. If you take it slow, most of the time you can get it done. Uh, that is terrible. Uh, it's just a matter of actually, you know, getting that preparation done. And of course, I'm saying this as somebody who, you know, has made the arrow actually go in the right place once. Um, but I think that that um, is the way this is going to work out. You got to make me a promise here. You guys, if, if I'm about to have a, you know, the possibility to hit a target, you guys have to do like the stereotypical like 80s sports movie clap thing for me to get like the, or quack even like in the Mighty Ducks to try to get my, um, my morale high enough. Oh god, what is wrong with my left arm? Okay, we're gonna go for this target here, just in front of us. That, again, went in kind of a distant location, but, uh, I feel like we're getting a little bit closer here. We're only gonna spend a little bit of time in the target practice mode because the other modes are so absurd as to be hilarious. Oh, that was pretty close. Oh my god, I think we might actually be able to do this. Okay, put this one up here, and then we'll knock the arrow like so. Bring it down, up to sundown, see where the bad guys are to be found and make them lay down, and then we'll toss this one in. Okay. Let's try again a couple more times. Another thing that I've thought is like maybe shooting the bow gangsta style. Like if I turn my uh, arm all the way like this as if I am about to give a fist bump, then, oh, let's get the shoulder out here. I think this might actually, weirdly enough, make it easier, or it might make it impossible, but it's already nearly impossible for me. Plus, I get like this sweet view of my own internal organs, which is nice. Let's put this bad boy up like this. Uh, this is not gonna work out. Yeah, just pretty sure I just shot that like straight into the ground. Okay, so let's rotate this one more time, and I'm gonna try one more shot here, because truth be told, the target practice is, you know, very much the practice mode. Uh, you know, that was pretty good. Sometimes, one of the complaints I do have is that sometimes your hands get in the way of what you can actually see going on. So, you know, I can barely uh, manipulate my hands to actually put the arrow inside of the bow. There is absolutely no way that I can manipulate my hands to put the arrow inside of the bow and then manipulate them uh, in such a way as to get the bow out of my line of sight. So sometimes I just have to, like, take the game's word on where my shot actually landed. Oh, that's gonna... Gonna have to send our dog down in the grass to pick that one up. Okay, now, just knock the arrow properly. I think maybe if I actually, like... That doesn't look proper. Um, let's let go of shift here, which controls the other hand, and then... Ah, okay. This seems pretty good. Let's try this, and we'll try to hit, uh, this target over here. Hey! Okay. Pretty good. Luckily, they do, uh, change color when you hit them, so you actually... Uh, know when you're done, and then we'll uh, lower our own shoulder here. Oh, that's really bad. We rotate the elbow, and then bring the shoulder in. Oh, that feels pretty good. If I could 
actually get it to knock here at some point. Knock, knock, motherfucker. It's the worst Robin Hood ever. Please, let me... Okay, maybe I have botched this somehow. Let's rotate the elbow a little. There we go! That's basically perfect. Um, let's lower this. That's not going to work at all. It is pretty impressive, though. This is like the kind of trick shot that I, I always wanted to see in the Hunger Games, but unfortunately never came to fruition. Um, that's pretty bad as well, quite frankly. How about that? Still terrible. What about this one? If I could actually get it to work. I'm just going to try to shoot one more now, because, you know, once you get on a hot streak, you don't stop. I think I might have a chance to hit this one in the top left. It's going to be a long shot, though. Yeah, that was a long shot. A long shot that missed. Sorry, Mount St. Helens back there. In any case, this is target practice. The most boring mode, but it gives you kind of a feel for what's going on in the game. As you can see, there are, what, three, say, like seven other modes that are absolutely goddamn crazy. In particular, I really like Don't Miss. This is like a retelling of the story of William Tell, I guess, or the, the fable of William Tell. Basically, Apple Man got drunk here, and he's smashing bottles, and now he's like, yeah, man, you're like the greatest archer I've ever seen in my whole life. Why don't you try to knock an air or knock an apple off the top of my head, which is also an apple, confusingly enough. So we're going to try to get this to work, and, uh, you know, obviously, if you miss, that's basically it. I've never actually managed to succeed in this one. This is obviously much harder than target practice, because if you, um, oh, that's like the best knocking I've ever done. Oh no! I'm sorry, Apple Man. It's okay. We'll, we'll try that one again. It's unfortunate that you can't skip through it, but uh, it does only take like 10 seconds to get through. Um, it's the kind of game where, like, I was weirdly kind of pessimistic about games like this when they started becoming a little bit more popular this year. Like, when Surgeon Simulator got greenlit, I was like, I don't understand why this got greenlit and, like, incredibly, like, dense roguelite game did not, although, you know, maybe that game eventually did in the batch of, like, 100 that came out, but now I've gotten, like, way less kind of anal about it, and I'm having a lot more fun with it. I thought the Steam version uh, of Surgeon Simulator 2013, you know, it's not my favorite game of the year, but I'm glad it exists, and I think it's definitely worth being on Steam, be oh, this is a good one, uh, because it's so kind of weird and funny, and I don't, I don't really consider these, like, physics-based, you know, try to accomplish a task games. These, these to me are like comedy games. These are like, uh, like slapstick basically could be the genre. And I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm totally okay with the, uh, this is gonna hit him. Oh, wow. Sometimes it's really hard to judge. Um, I'm totally okay with more games like this coming out because they're really fun to play and I also find them really fun to watch. Like, even if I'm not playing them, uh, myself, I, I like watching other people play them because, you know, it's all about the reactions that people have when they go through them. And, you know, if you find any incredible techniques, like I've seen some pretty incredible Surgeon Simulator 2013 techniques. I haven't actually watched anybody else. Nah, that wasn't even close. I haven't actually watched anybody else play uh, probably Archery yet, although I know I know that uh, both J Nick and Josh are going to be playing it this week if Nick has not already played it earlier. Ooh, okay. I am dead set on actually trying to make this work. Uh, what I was trying to get with that, uh, or get at with that tangent earlier is that I totally think you should go vote for this on Greenlight if you want to see it on Greenlight. Of course, I don't want to be the guy that's just like, Subscribers, I wield you as a power. Like, I always want you guys to have autonomy. And if you think this looks shitty, then by all means don't vote for it. But I'm playing it and I'm telling you it's not shitty, and if you're willing to take my word for it, I think you should vote for this on Greenlight. In any case, let me put this over here, and we are gonna either ruin- it. That could be like his kid or something, considering he's made out of apples himself. I, I don't know, I'm just saying, the narrative doesn't make sense. Why is a man that wears a shirt that says genius at work complaining about a kid's television show? Okay, Ooh, okay, I like this a lot. We'll put this up here, get it notched in again. Oh, it's perfect. Okay, now we just gotta not miss. That? What? I'm pretty sure that crested like right over the green apple and just next to the, the red apple. That one I can't even see. Okay, I've got my arms all mixed up here. Um, we'll fart around in this mode for a little bit longer, then we'll check out some of the other ones. Uh, I have seen... There's one that's like exceptionally difficult. Oh, that was not good. Uh, there's one that is exceptionally difficult. We will. If I end up making that work, like I'm going to upload that to the GuinnessBookOfWorldRecords.com, which is a site that probably does not actually exist, but if it did, it would be a good place for this video. But anyway, you'll see that momentarily. Let's take another three shots of this man. Okay, that one obviously far too high to even be worthwhile. By the way, I will accept no valid criticism about how to improve my probably archery play. 99% of the fun of the games like this for me is eventually discovering something for myself that ends up working out. Okay, we're going to take one last shot here. Do not miss your chance to blow 
This Granny Smith comes once in a lifetime. Um, is there any... Yeah, this might be better. It might be a lot worse. I'm actually going to take one more because I feel like I'm... Okay, we're just going to throw that one on the ground. That one didn't feel right. Um, I feel like I'm coming closer to a chance of victory here. Maybe. Step one would probably be figuring out how to actually put the arrow inside of the bow. Come on, just bend the elbow. There! Oh, man, that's bad. Um, what do we... Q and then E... It's like Harry Potter is casting Wingardium Levioso right now. Well, okay, that's even more so like that. Come on, you can knock it in, buddy! Pack it up, pack it in, let me begin! Seriously, I'm getting tired here. Um, just, okay, now I, I will be content with any knock at all. This is a good one right here. Um, and then maybe we can, like, tilt our elbow. No, oh, that's not gonna work. Um, like, I wanna rotate my elbow a little bit. In order to make... This is not gonna hit him. It's just gonna sail right over his head. But I tried at least. Bye-bye, Apple Man! Sleep it off, buddy. Get some water or something. Okay, this is the one that is goddamn impossible. So this is like a retelling of the good, the bad, and the ugly here. And we've got to actually shoot the goddamn noose uh, with our arrow to save this lady. This is not going to happen. We have a staggeringly low amount of time. Uh, and I'm pretty sure this balloon's going to just die here. All right, I tried. Can we restart it with backspace? Yes. This is one where it's particularly unfortunate to have to go through the, like, starting phase every single time. I wonder if I just leave, leave the bow in its default state. Oh, no. What have I done? Oh. Tilt it. This is not gonna be good. Could have been worse, actually. We can probably get one more shot if I'm very lucky. Ah, okay. We'll try again. I'll probably only do this one a couple of times because this one is basically impossible. But what I'm trying to showcase here is that, you know, this is not just a one-trick pony. You know, the Surgeon Simulator had the demo, and then... People, when it got green light, people were like, oh, is it just going to be like the heart surgery, but they're going to charge money for it instead of actually being, uh, oh, this is good, instead of actually um, having it free? Uh, and no, of course, they added like a bunch of, of new stuff uh, that may or may not have resonated with everybody, but I thought it was relatively cool. Oh, she's dead again. I'm sorry. I don't know why I always assume it's a she, but in any case, uh, maybe that's something latent that I should talk to a psychologist about. They drew first blood. That scares me. Um, one of the ones here is like, you're just doing target practice on the moon. There's also zero gravity. I don't F around with that stuff. Uh, we'll try the Berserker here. I'm, yeah, this is what I figured it might be. Oh god, this is one I have not actually done. So, quantity better than, uh, sorry, quality better than quantity. Get this going. Oh, come on. You can do it. Oh, you shanked it right before him. Okay, I'm dead. And we exploded. Let's try this again. The strength of this game is absolutely its commitment to the absurd, and I, I think it really uh, achieves that very well. I mean, this is not really a tradi traditional let's look at- oh, Jesus Christ. Traditional let's look at because, you know, the, the game is not actually out for purchase yet, so it's not really- Oh! Oh, come on! That should have worked. Uh, this is just more like an awareness video almost for me to be like, hey, this is on green light, you should uh, consider voting for it because I think it is stupid and hilarious, and that's exactly my kind of thing. Okay, that was not good. I should really just wait till he gets, like, directly in front of me, and then end his life. Hey, you defeated! Okay. I think I've discovered the, the ultimate foolproof strategy. Plus, I can't help but love the uh, absurdity of this man running at me from, like, across a half-kilometer long field, and then I just, like, punk right before he gets to me. Let's try it again. Oh, Jesus. Okay, obviously this is a high-risk, high-reward strategy. Let's do it again. At least I, that's the second time I have hit something over the course of this video. Much to my surprise. I really need to learn how to stop shanking these ones. Okay, here we go. Drop it down. This should be perfect. Yeah! Shatter that apple just before he gets to me. I want to play that one one more time. This is actually satisfying because it seems really easy. All you have to do is shoot straight. And then you're in a pretty good position. Alright, that was better. I need, I need to learn how to correct... Oh, no. Oh, no. Um... Oh! Okay, so the ye old behind the back hand switch lefty flip archery shot actually worked out well for me there. Uh, maybe we'll check out one more. I, like, the horde sounds horrible and I will absolutely get killed, but what about they drew first blood? I've never actually seen this one. I guess this is like a play on Rambo. Oh, my God. Okay, that seems pretty scary. 
what am I supposed to do? Like, shoot over this mountain? Uh, this is, like, incredibly cinematic. I like it. The, the goldfish is nice, too. Maybe this is just a movie. I don't know. It's freaking me out. Okay. Yes. Press, hold, grab, and knock buttons to begin. Oh, I gotta, hit, like, hit him from afar. Oh, jeez. Are these, oh, these are explosive arrows. Oh, just like in uh, Rambo 2, First or First Blood Part 2, Rambo. Anyway, we're not going to get into that naming convention. That's already been done to death. I got to hit him with an explosive arrow. Yeah, okay. I can get down with this. Let's try this one more time. I thought at first they were going to be like sticky arrows, like plungers or something like that. Uh, so this is a particularly long segment we can fast forward through here. Um, I can't even, it's been so long since I've seen the First Blood, like the first First Blood. I don't even remember if there were explosive arrows in that one. Definitely in Rambo 2. Well, Ram you know what I mean. We don't need to talk about this. Um, I'm not sure. I can't even see what's going on here. Am I being shot at simultaneously as well? He's up here. Oh, that one. Ay! Okay. Luckily, I wore my explosive protecting pants today. Um, pull this back. Go like this. And... Ah, oh, damn it. Well, in any case, that's probably good enough. Uh, this has been my Let's Look at It Probably Archery. Most important thing here, if you enjoyed uh, looking at the game and you want to check it out for yourself, make sure to vote for it on Steam Greenlight so that it can actually see a Steam release. I think this is well worth it. Uh, and, you know, it's not a game. A lot of the stuff that comes out on Greenlight is kind of dubious, and you're like, eh, I'm not really a big fan of this. Uh, probably Archery, I think. It, it has a design vision, and it absolutely hits it, and it's fun for people to watch and play, which is uh, some of the highest praise that I can give. In any case, also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to click the like button. It does help me out a lot. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more first impressions of games like this. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.